All right, so I just want to make a little video on my new HLE config for CS2 to let you guys know that I updated it and also do a little tutorial on how to use it as well as how to modify it to your liking. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is download HLE and you want to download the installer because you'll need to install FFmpeg with it. So you just go to the installer. Here you need to do reinstall FFmpeg. I don't know if you maybe if you don't have it, it'll just say install, but it's basically the same thing. You need to download this, or it's it's not gonna work. And while it's downloading, you can also go download the config. So this is the one that is gonna do uh, is gonna have motion blur, and this is the same thing but without motion blur. So I'm assuming most of you guys are just gonna use this one. You can go to the releases and just download it here. And then go to your Counter-Strike folder, go to game, CSGO, CFG, and just drag it in there. All right, so now that it's finished installing, you can launch it and so you can launch it and go to tools developer custom loader and here I'll just do it to show you guys you need to go again to your counter-strike folder go to game bin win64 and select cs2 here as your program path and here in uh, DLS to inject click browse go to x64 and afx hook source 2 here in the command line I don't think you really need to put anything but I'll leave these in the description just in case so just launch it click ok All right, so now just go to your demo so I'll just pick this demo right here and do exec atom in console see this message and go to the round you want to record so in my case it's gonna be this round and now you can do commands in console to see all the commands so local player is kind of useless because apparently it just does it by default now which I didn't know but I'm keeping it because whatever uh, you can do block so I'm gonna do block block which is gonna hide all the other kills in the kill feed that aren't mine and I'm also gonna do a lifetime which is gonna make my kills last longer so throughout the round it shows all the kills I got so I'm just gonna do this now I'm just gonna hide this and once I'm ready to record you can once you're ready to record just press O on your keyboard Oops. and just wait Alright, so once you're done recording, just press O again, and then tab out, go to Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Game, Bin, Win64, Untitled Rec, and your clip should be here. So as you can see, it has motion blur already applied, and it's just 60 FPS, which you can use for your frying movies, it works perfectly. But now I'm going to show you how you can modify the config. Alright, so there's quite a few things you can change in here. First of all, you can change the bind to start and stop recording. So, I just have it on O because I have nothing like I said. Uh, here you can uh, disable the observer crosshair. So, this just means it will show your crosshair instead of the crosshair of the player you're spectating. So, this is pretty useful if you uh, ha want to have the same crosshair for the whole video. So, I, I recommend using it. If you want to enable it, just remove the slashes in front of it. Um, this will hide assists. So... If you want to make the kill feed look a little bit cleaner, you can enable it. And this will override the view model, so whatever view model the player is spectating has, it won't show and it'll instead show this. So this is just X, Y, Z, F, O, V, and then left hand, so zero is right hand. Alright, so next thing you can change here is the video quality. So I have it on 9, which is pretty high. 
Uh, if you want to make it lower, just make the number higher, so lower is better. Zero or one is lossless, but you really don't need that. Nine is perfectly fine and it'll look good, especially after YouTube compression and everything, it's just not noticeable. Uh, here you can change the exposure, which is the blur amount, so 0.7 is fine. Uh, you can make it higher if your video is lower FPS. Here you can change the uh, output FPS, so for like a 24 or 30 FPS videos, 60 is usually going to give you enough room to you know, do some uh, time remap, but if you want to do more, uh, you can turn it up to whatever. So one thing to note is that if I put it at 120 here, I need to make the blur amount 1.4 to be the same. So basically what you want to do is do your new FPS divided by your old FPS and then multiply that by your exposure and you'll get the new exposure for your new FPS, if that makes sense. I don't know. I'll just put it on screen. but. Here you can change the uh, FPS that it records that before blending the frames. So 1080 is pretty good. There's no real point going overkill and it's just going to take a lot longer to record your demos. So I wouldn't really suggest changing this, but it's here if you want. And lastly here, this is pretty important. You can set a custom path for where your videos get saved. So instead of saving in the CS2 folder, you can put them on a different drive or anywhere. And uh, that's about it. So. I hope this was helpful to some people, um, and I hope you guys use this to make some really, really good videos. So, thanks for watching.